best work accident lawyer, Ridgeland, Mississippi. Call 601-773-7777. Welcome to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Each week, Joey answers your questions about the law and how it affects you. Joey, how do denied Mississippi workers' compensation claims work? The way denied Mississippi workers' compensation claims work is either an employee failed to timely report an injury or they reported an injury and the employer and carrier do not believe it is related to their work accident. And what they will do is say, we deny it, we are not responsible for this. And it's usually best for the injured worker to go and hire an attorney to attempt and have the claim found to be compensable. And what that means is that it was related to the work accident and the employer and their insurance carrier should be paying the injured worker for that uh, worker's compensation claim they originally denied. So can I ever receive benefits? Absolutely. If you go and have the claim found compensable, which means you've put it in front of an administrative law judge and had a a compensability hearing is the closest thing to a trial that you will find in workers' compensation. You don't get a jury or anything, but you have an administrative law judge. And if the judge finds that it's more likely than not that you did have an accident that is work-related, and depending on the type of injury, if we have a doctor showing or stating that it's casually related to work, in which case the judge will go back and order that they pay all the medical benefits all the indemnity benefits commonly referred to as workers' compensation checks that they re- that injured workers receive weekly or biweekly can go back and pay mileage, and they may even order them to pay penalties. How do I go about receiving benefits for my denied Mississippi workers' compensation claim? The first step is to file a petition to controvert, and that is like filing a complaint in a normal lawsuit. There's a form. You can go on the Workers' Compensation Commission website and print it out, fill it out, and submit it to them. Uh, I'll usually recommend it's best to hire an attorney to represent you in those matters because you are you're doing something that is probably a once-in-a-lifetime event for you, twice in a lifetime if you're unfortunate, and... Uh, it's very nuanced law. So, but the first step is to file the petition to controvert, and that would start the legal proceedings. What do I have to show to get my workers' compensation benefits? You have to show that it's more likely than not that you were injured on the job and that your injury was related to what you were doing on the job. That is the most basic way to explain it. And for example, if you were assisting a patient in or out of a wheelchair and the patient fell and you moved suddenly and hurt your back, if you can show through your doctor usually that that was related to the work accident, then you will most likely receive benefits. However, uh, you run into the situation where, say, two people got into a fight over something unrelated to work at their lunch break or something, that's not going to be found uh, uh, related and that would not likely meet the threshold of more likely than not happening in a scenario that was related to work. So that's kind of a uh, example to example compare and contrast of how it works. Okay, I see. Yeah. Um, So do I need a lawyer to get those benefits? You have the right to represent yourself in a worker's compensation claim. I never advise a client to do so because, as I previously said, this is most likely a -a once-in-a-lifetime event for an injured worker. And a worker's compensation attorney has likely handled hundreds, if not thousands, of worker's compensation cases and goes through this every day. And I strongly recommend an injured worker to at least speak with an, uh, an attorney regarding their injury and see what their options are. Thanks for listening to Ask a Lawyer with attorney Joey Franks at the Franks Law Firm in Ridgeland, Mississippi. Call attorney Franks at 601-773-7777. His website is thefrankslawfirm.com.